Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus. And today we'll be looking at the origins of one of the devotionals that's associated with Mary, the Rosary. This will take some time because there are many different components of the Rosary. But we'll start with the first and earliest component, the beads themselves. During the time of the Roman persecution of Christians in 227 AD, a boy was born in Thebes, Egypt, and was given the name Paul. At only 16 years of age, frightened by the persecutions, he left his home in Thebes and fled into a cave at the foot of a mountain out in the desert, making the place his home. However, he soon discovered that he enjoyed living alone and spent his time in prayer and communion with God. Paul would live in that place for almost a century as the first of the Catholic hermits. One day, a man named Anthony came to visit him and was inspired by his devotion to God and the solitary life. First Anthony, then hundreds of other people soon began to embrace the secluded life of prayer in the desert. These were the first monastic orders, and it was among these early orders that prayer routines began to develop. Many prayer traditions were practiced by the monks and hermits to focus their attention on God, with the most common being repeated prayers of the Our Father and the praying of the Psalms. In order to keep track of how many prayers they'd said, the early monks would sometimes pick up handfuls of pebbles, tossing them away with each prayer they completed. As time went on and the practice became more common, organized strings were created by the monks, and they would count things on the strings, pebbles, bones, berries, knots, or beads made from other materials. The monks would count these while they prayed, long before the rosary as we know it today existed. In fact, the English word bead comes from the Old English gebed, which literally means prayer. Centuries later, these same types of bead sets would be used to pray the Hail Mary and later the rosary. Next time, where did the rosary prayers come from? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.